One day, I looked into the mirror with my mother. I noticed that I look like her. Both of us have dark hair and dark brown eyes. Why do children look like their parents? What are the characteristics that you have inherited from your father and mother? How similar are you to your father or your mother? You might have curly hair, which you have inherited from your father, and a double-edge eyelid, which you have inherited from your mother. Your parents might also look like your grandparents. The passing on or inheritance of characteristic from parents to their offspring is known as heredity. The structures in organisms responsible for this characteristics are called genes. The study of heredity is known as genetics. This structure is called a cell. Cells are building blocks of all organisms. All parts of our body are made up of cells. Inside the cells, there is a structure called nucleus. This structure is the brain of the cell. It controls all the activities of the cell. The nucleus contains genes. These genes determine our characteristics. These characteristics are known as traits. The nucleus contains genes. These genes determine our characteristics. These characteristics are known as traits. All organisms reproduce offspring of their own kind. They reproduce to ensure that their kind will continue to exist When human beings reproduce, genes are passed from their parents to their offspring. As their offspring receive the genes from their parents, the offspring will have the traits that are similar to their parents. This explains why you look more like your parents than your friends or your teacher. Here are some traits the children inherited from their parents. Here are some traits the children inherited from their parents. Type of hair, it could be curly or straight. Black or blonde. And your type of eyelids. If your parents have uh, double-edged eyelids, of course, you will be having a double-edged eyelids. And the color of your eyes. If your parents have black eyes, of course, you will have black eyes. If your parents have blue eyes, of course, your eyes will be blue. And the presence of dimples, like this. This is what you call dimples. Of course, my parents have dimples, so I have one. And your, if your parents don't have it, of course, you won't. And of course, the ability to roll your tongue. There are tongues that can't be rolled. That is inherited. And a type of your ears. You can't change the type of your ears. Ears, it's inherited. And animals also pass their traits from their parents to their offspring when they reproduce. For example, when the tigers reproduce, they give birth to cubs that look like them, not like puppies or lambs. The cubs would have four legs, a long tail, and a striped skin like their parents. As cubs they grow, they will become bigger and eventually have a size similar to their parents. When the giraffe reproduce, they give birth to calves, not kittens or cubs. The calves have long necks, four legs, and skin pattern to their 
parents. The calves will grow bigger and taller and eventually have a size similar to their parents. For example, for example, there are some offspring that do not look like their parents when they are young. For example, a tadpole and a caterpillar look very different from their parents. As they grow, they will develop. For example, a tadpole and a caterpillar look very different from their parents. As they grow, they will develop and become bigger and eventually they will look like their parents. Look like this. Offspring of an organism usually do not look exactly the same like their parents, even though both pair of them are of the same kind. There are variations of traits that make the offspring slightly different from their parents. Look at the mother cat. Okay, when the cat reproduce they give birth to kittens the kittens might have a fur color or patterns similar to different from their parents there is a variety of colors and patterns for the fur traits in cats feather color is one of the traits that parakeets pass on to their offspring parakeets have different colors of feathers they have green, yellow, blue, and white feathers. Okay. Chicks develop combs on the top of their head. So when they grow up, there is a variation in shapes of the combs. Okay. The single comb, the rose comb, the pea comb. There is a variation in the shape of dog's ears too. Here are some examples. That is how heredity uh, affects living things. Thank you so much and good morning.